going on guys, it is Runtless Day and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be re reviewing this week's episode of The Walking Dead TV series. Now, like my previous reviews, uh, this review contains spoilers, so if you have not seen the newest Walking Dead episode, please click off the video now. This episode picks up directly where the last one ended. Uh, Rick and the group have arrived now at the Alexandria safe zone from with Aaron and Eric. And it has a lot of comic, comic book moments in this episode. It was absolutely fantastic. I have read the comic book series, but I kind of know what goes down in Alexandria. Not entirely everything, but I kind of know some of the things are, that went down. And at the very start, um, we went and there was like a couple of things that we got to see that were brand new, such as new characters. Uh, there's a new character called Diana. Uh, she's a the female version of Douglas Monroe, who's from the comics. So. Douglas isn't in The Walking Dead, unfortunately, but I've got this new character called Diana. She's pretty mysterious. I, she's pretty creepy. I think she's really creepy, and she takes Rick into the uh, into this wee house and starts like asking all these, asking them all these questions. And Rick's being on, completely honest on what he's done. He's killed people, but he knows why they're all dead. We all know why ourselves when we watched them previous prior to this moment. And it was all most of it. It was all filmed through this video camera because we. I was wondering what is going on. How do these guys have video cameras? Did somebody like see a battery? How do they get electric? To charge the battery if it died. The battery died in the camera. I don't understand that. But they're filming the interview with Rick and Diana on camera. All we see is Rick in the video, and he's just telling what he's done pr prior to that. And then they have the group has uh, given their weapons. And if anyone people have been wondering where was Gabriel? Well. If you look, if you remember from the start of the episode when they had to hand their guns over, uh, Gabriel was in the background. So yeah, there you are. Gabriel was in the episode. He wasn't just hiding because he was scared as usual. But yeah, <laughs> um, there's a, it's there's a load of new characters that got in, got introduced in this episode. Um, one of my favorite moments to the episode was when ever um, Carol came out of this house and she was dressed in this funny looking clothes. And, she had like a, this cardigan on with like a shirt and these funny trousers and Daryl's sitting, out, sitting outside in this porch of the new house and he hasn't taken a wash, he hasn't shaved, he hasn't done anything because he can't adapt to the environment and he just goes to, like, Carol goes says to Daryl, I'm going to hose, I can't remember what, exactly what she said but something like, I'm, I need to, I'm going to hose you down, I'm taking a wash, no, and Car Carol's walking off and Daryl's like, you look ridiculous, <laughs> that, was, that was hilarious when I watched it there. And when Carol done the interview with uh, Diana, she is pretending, oh I'm just a little housewife, I love my husband, which was a lie, obviously, um, and talk, talk and tell all, all this other bullshit, but it's not actually true, because we all know what Carol's like, she, she destroyed Terminus, we all know what she's done prior to this moment. And when Daryl walked in for the interview, he's just walking around, because he won't even sit, and she's going, uh, Diana's going, Mr. Dixon, would you please take a seat? Ah, uh, no thanks. Just walking around with a dead rabbit for dinner. <laughs> um, that was that was a pretty cool moment. And one of the moments I was actually anticipating this episode was whenever Rick shaved. I know people have been obsessing over this beard ever since it, it, it grew in his face the first time. And we all knew when it, when they got to Alexandria, they had shaved shaved foam and a razor. So we all knew it was a sad moment because we had to say goodbye beard and see the new the season one look of Rick. Because um, I met this new girl called Jessie, and who, I think he's from the comic book, I'm not sure, and her, her husband Peter, and she has two sons. And I think it's going to start some new uh, sort of story arc, because I think Jessie likes Rick and not in a like, in a like, like situation. So I'm pretty much excited, because um, I want to see how that plays out in the future episodes. And also, um, everyone's been given a couple of loads, loads of jobs. Um, Rick and Michonne have been uh, given the job of being the constables of Alexandria. So that means Rick is a cop again. He's a police officer. That means Officer Friendly is back. But he's not so not so friendly now because and Arthur, he's not. It's Rick Grimes. He's not going to be friendly now after all he's seen. But there's something I don't understand. Why would Diana make Rick? The constable of Alexandria, when he hardly knows him, she hardly knows him, and he doesn't. He doesn't understand why she's put him as constable position because he, she she can tell he was previously a cop before this all this started, and Rick just want keeps on his toes because anything could happen. So 
just stay on, just stay on guard because like he said to Carl in church, back at the church, um, no matter what you think, uh, no matter how many people are around you, no matter how safe the clear the area is, you are not safe and that is true. Alexandria is not safe, I can tell it's not safe because these people, they I don't think they're, they're easily, you know, I don't think they've experienced any combat within the uh, surviving groups with, with, within the, uh, the area because they seem very they seem very weak from what I've seen so if any of our new group comes in into the show and attacks Alexandria which I am yeah we all we all know what's gonna happen um, I think they're gonna be pretty weak so Deanna's trying to play Rick because she needs him she needs his group because um, she could tell that these people have been through the shit. They've been through the farm, they've been through the prison, they've been through Terminus, they've been through the hospital, we've lost Tyrese, we've lost Bob, we've lost Herschel, we've lost everyone. And she knows Rick is a proper leader and this is his family. If you try to kill anyone in his family, or even try to do anything to them that will harm them in any, any way, he'll kill you. And that is what exactly he'll do. And another, th there's a couple of other things, cool things that go went on this episode. Um, it was whenever Carl was following this new girl, this little girl, I can't remember what her name was. Um, she was climbing over the wall, out, out to get out of Alexandria, depending on what she was, hell she was trying to do. Carl, Carl followed her, and they were doing, she was just following him around, and then all of a sudden Rick is going on a, on a patrol to get some, you know, I don't know what he was doing. And he comes, goes back to where he stored the gun in the last episode, in the blender, and it's not there. Surprisingly, so that tells me um, I bet that little girl took it when she was out running around doing God knows what. And then he runs into Carl and they're attacked by walkers, well, as usual. <laughs> and then there are a couple of zombie kills there, so pretty sweet. But my, the best one for me would be when Carl sticks the pipe into the zombie's head. Just like, that's it. <laughs> it's all gone. But anyways, that was it was a great episode of The Walking Dead. There's so much to talk about, but I don't think I'm gonna fit it all into this one video, guys. So uh, my final rating for this episode is gonna be a 9.5 out of 10. Yes, 9.6. I'm gonna give it a 9.6 out of 10. It's definitely better than last week's episode, even though last week's episode was fantastic, and they were both better than episode 10, which was called Them. And it's definitely better than what ha what happens, what's going on, episode with Tyrese. So I. This is one of the best Walking Dead episodes I've seen so far in Season 5. And Season 5 is definitely wrapping up to become my favourite season of The Walking Dead ever. Whenever this season's over, I will be doing uh, what my favourite season is overall. Walking Dead is constantly changing over this past season. We've had so many stories happening. And now with this new story arc at Alexandria, a new safe zone, there's so many story arcs that are coming. And another question I have, is Daryl going to leave the group? Because I'm not so sure about... He's not able to adapt to this environment because his life wasn't even great prior to the zombie apocalypse. So we don't know what's going to happen for him. Um, maybe We might discuss that in another video and see what, what happens with Darrow when we see the next episode of The Walking Dead. Because um, him and Aaron are out on patrol. Well, Darrow goes out in his own and, and Rick, I believe, sends Aaron to follow him to see what happens. Because they can't get him a job in Alexandria because Darrow can't adapt to it. So we'll see what goes down there. And yeah, my final rating will be 9.6 out of 10, 10 for The Walking Dead Season 5, Episode 12, which is called Remember. And I will be doing a review as usual for next week's episode, which will be called Forget. So guys, that is my review of this week's Walking Dead episode. What did you think of the episode? Please leave your comments below and I'll respond to your comments as soon as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. And stay tuned for more Walking Dead content. See you later.